Hello everybody and welcome back to Hope Bark, the channel where sometimes we talk about relevant things, sometimes electronics, and sometimes makeup. And yeah, by the title today is makeup. More specifically, ColourPop. And yep, I placed this order at 2 o'clock in the morning. And there's a funny story with that. Yeah. So, sometimes in this world, people meet other people. Cool. You got friends, and sometimes with the wonderful part of the internet, those friends aren't necessarily next door. Time difference, so that's the funny story. Funny story was, it was like the last day of the sale with ColourPop, and I was placing an order, because what I wanted to order, what I thought I had ordered, is not what my receipt says is going to be in here. So, I sent my computer, I wanted to order a few super shock shadows, maybe a couple highlighters, and do a build your own palette. So that was in the works, almost done, and then my friend's like, yo, I got some time, let's chat. And I was like, alright, put that aside, and had a good chat with my friend, and then, you know, later on, doing stuff, and then I'm like, it's like 2am, and the sale's going to end, I need to get this, you know. I need to get this order in. So I went to my computer, put the whole order. I remember at least two or three times like redoing the like build your own palette. I had like some colors and, and a couple um, highlighters. So I picked the ones I think it was 20 colors or 12 colors and a couple of face. I don't know. It was 2 a.m. Placed the order, went to bed. Got up the next morning, didn't have a confirmation email. I had the money taken out of my bank account, so I spent most of the day with ColourPop customer service, which, by the way, very good, no complaints, they were super nice, super kind, because they had to find my order, because in my half-asleepness of 2 a.m., I put in the wrong email address, so they had to go find whatever. That's cool. And then it took about, like, 12 hours, you know, the whole day stuff, for them to actually find the order, because, again... The information that I had put in there was wrong, so it's not their fault, it was me. And so they finally find it and then they send me the email and I'm like, that's not what I was trying to order. So as per my email, I ordered two Super Shock Shadows, Banana Daiquiri and Pink one, which is cool because Banana Daiquiri is the one I wanted the most. Because my friend Kim on Instagram, I will leave her Instagram below. She doesn't have YouTube, but she does do a lot of makeup reviews and a lot of orders and stuff. And she just does it in her Instagram stories. And that's fine. I love her to death. She's a total sweetheart. Go follow her. She's great. Um, like right now, I think she's on her way back home or she's just ending her trip to Spain. So she'll be up and running and she has a lot of reviews. She's really cool. So she does a lot of ColourPop lately because she just started getting into ColourPop. And, you know, I'm seeing her reviews. I think it's great. And she did a build joint palette. So trying to do the same thing because it was freaking cool but again when I got the final email of what my order was was there was two super shock shadows which is fine and then I ordered the sweet talk palette apparently which isn't a build your own palette but it is still in a Z palette with little pans that you put into it now is that really what's gonna be in here is it what I originally ordered I don't know that's gonna be the fun I have not opened this yet. All I did was like cut the tape off because me and sharp things should really not be in the same room. Uh, but let's look at this. So whatever's in here, if y'all are surprised, I'm just as surprised as all of you. Because again, I placed the order at 2 a.m. I'm pretty sure I remember what I placed. But the receipt that I got wasn't what I remember placing. So let's get into this. It's going to be interesting. Let's open this box, shall we? Right, so. Ooh. It says ColourPop, so it's definitely from them. And there's a lot of bubble wrap, I like that. And I see a bunch, this is what I see. You see this? So there's all the single ones. Hmm. I'm impressed, even though it might not be what I ordered. Let's take everything out of this, and it's Kind of just coming out in one big bubble wrappy thing. I like that it's all in bubble wraps, so bottom of the box is empty. 
right, so. I immediately see the two super shock shadows. So we'll look at those in a minute. And then all of my like little singles, we will swatch them all. I don't have much of an eye look today because I wanted to play with this. Oh, look at this, this is awesome. So the single ones, some of them again were like pressed glitters and stuff. So all the ones that are pressed glitters, they come with this, look, you can see these are pressed glitters. And then the mats come with this, these are the mats. So this is so cool, I'm so excited. Oh, and there's all sorts of other stuff, wow, okay. There's my receipt, that, that's cool, the receipts are cool. And um, Colourpop tells me that I'm a peach. You're a peach. Thanks, Colourpop. I'm, I'm sweet. I'm, and, no, I'm not. All right, so here's the little Z palette that they fit into. So that is so cool. For those of you out there who do not know what a Z palette is, it's just a little empty palette like this. And this part here is magnetized. So all these little tiny... Oh, the sun's coming out. That's cool. So all these little tiny individual in a pan, because the bottom of the pan is metal, and this is magnetized, they just stay there, and you can kind of move them around. Um, you can buy just like a Z palette on its own, and they're usually like 10, 15 bucks, like just on their own. The entire Sweet Talk palette in my receipt, um, including this Z palette, so isn't it cute? Um, and all of these little ones came to only $20, and then the two super shock shadows so um oh i have another little note here so let's see what that note says because i think it's an extra it might be a surprise i like surprises because you know and it's it's like a green color because yes the bill joan palette i wanted to go with the greens because i have pretty much all the colors around so far and um greens is one i don't really have but um what's this one says Sorry we're late, XOXO Colourpop. Thank you very much, Colourpop. I'm not mad. Like, they were a little bit late at packaging everything and sending it out. Because they're having a sale, they probably have like thousands or millions of orders. And I go through the same thing like when I order from e.l.f. Cosmetics during their sales. It takes them a little bit longer to actually get the orders together because they're getting so many orders at the exact same time. So I am not mad at all that if this is an extra one, I'm very happy. Um, it's called Up and Up. But before we get to everything that's in this little Z palette, we're going to look at the Super Shock Shadows. Because those were what I wanted the most. So I'm just trying to put everything in the right piles here. Alright, let's get to the first two Super Shock Shadows. Here you go. These are the colors. I'll open up in a minute. So, this one here is a banana daiquiri, which is the one I wanted, and this one here is Slave to Pink, because it's a really bright pink. And I did purposely pick ones that have a little bit of glitter in them, so I can kind of use more of a topper than an all over the lid, because I do have a few things from ColourPop that I kind of bought for somewhere else, and uh, I really, really like them. So this is the one that I have been like, really wanting. What is it called? This is a banana daiquiri. And if anybody has ever touched a Super Shock Shadow before, it's the coolest feeling. Because if you don't put the lid on really tight, they'll dry out. Um, they're kind of like a cream to powder finish. Now look at that. It feels so weird. It's so cool. Look at the color. So just swatch that on my arm. Ooh, can you see that? It's not like super bright, which is good. I didn't want something super bright. I didn't want something a little, you know, glittery, shiny, because if I move it out, you can, like, pick up, like, the little glitterness of it, so that's cool. And I do have a little, like, white pandy. On to the next one. I don't think you can see how really bright, vivid pink this is that I can see it. But can you see how bright pink that is? And the glitter part, so let's swatch this one. Again, the feeling of it, like just putting my finger, you can see a little bit of the texture. It's so cool. Look at my finger. Like, wow. Let's try this one. Ooh, that is beautiful. Look at that. It's like a Barbie pink. Ooh, wow. Pick up the glitter. Ooh. I'm like in heaven. 
and I can't sing any of those songs because everything's copyrighted even though I'm not monetized. So let me show you the two super sharp shadows next to each other without the covers on. So can you see that? A little bit of texture. All right, this one's super bright pink. I am so excited. So this is the swatches of those two. Yes, just these two things. I'm already super freaking excited. Like, make it just makes me happy. Okay, that's all we're gonna say about. And makeup should make you happy. That's the thing. Makeup is like art. It's subjective. Do whatever the heck you want. Yes, there's trends. Yes, YouTubers have trends and there's colors and whatnot, and they do looks. But you know what, boo? You do you. You do whatever the heck you want with your own makeup. If somebody doesn't like it, if people give you weird looks, it don't matter. If you like it, if it makes you feel better, you wear whatever the fuck you want with your own makeup. Same thing goes for clothes. It goes for pretty much anything. But I just want to put it out there that when it comes to makeup, there's no actual rule. You can do whatever the heck you want because it's your face. So we are going to get into these singles that go into this nice little Z palette here. I am excited. It's my first Z palette I ever, ever had. So I don't know if I want to start with the glitters. I'm just going to put them all out here in a row. Sorry for that. I was actually trying to look up the palette to show you what, you know, how many there are, what I should be getting. And I've counted them and I do have an extra. So this extra one where they're apologizing I'm being late is an extra to my colors. But then I looked at my receipt and my receipt doesn't say anything about a specific palette. It says it really looks like I build your own palette. So maybe I actually did build my own palette. I don't know, but let's go with this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six pressed glitters, and then we have six pressed powder shadows. And in those six pressed powder shadows, two of them are shimmers and the rest are all matte. So let's start with the matte. Just to give you a quick rundown of what these colors are, they are in like the coral, pink, peach kind of spectrum thing. So. And I don't really have anything of, of those particular colors. I have a lot of purples and, and, and stuff. Um, okay, I have a lot of, of different colors, but you know, I don't think I have any of these. So that's why I was like not mad at it. So we're going to open the first one because I can already see a few of the pressed glitters are a little bit unpressed, but you can fix that. Oh my gosh, this is such awesome packaging. So first they come in this little thing and they're inside. Let me take them out. They're still in another little plastic. Very good packaging, ColourPop. Very good idea. Because, by the way, if anybody does not know or you've never heard of ColourPop, I will obviously leave, you know, the link below so you can check them out. But ColourPop is very, very affordable. And, um, yes, they come out with, like, new palettes, like, every week. Um, whatever. It's up to you. If you like them, you like them. If you don't. But I like that option where you can build your own palettes, so... This is the first color that I have opened. It is called Cutouts. So it's a nice, just warm transitioning tone, but a little bit darker. It's more like pink coral, but maybe a little bit of brown in it. So let's swatch that one a little bit. My arm, so let's start up here. All right, that's the color it comes out of. That is actually really pretty. That is a beautiful, like, crease color, just for, like, an everyday, easy look. So for those of you, again, who've never heard of a Z palette, again, you can tell. There is the name of it on the back. It's just a little metal pan, and then you go to your Z palette, and you just put it on there. And then you can move them around in the order that you like them to be in. So this is so freaking cool. I do want to apologize that you might hear noise outside and that it's all warm, because this is Canada. And right now, during the day when the sunshine comes out, it's really warm. And in the evening, we're already having frost advisories and it's like going down to freezing. So that ain't cool, man. Well, I mean, it's Canada. That's how it works. But like a week ago, it was summer. And now it's winter. We don't have middle parts, you know. It's a maritime. So wait five minutes. Don't let the weather. It will change for sure. Um, let's get to the next one. So this one is called Stay Golden. Ooh, Stay Gold, pointy boy. 
I remember that movie too. And this one is still like a matte. It's also a great crease shade or transition shade. It's a little more pink than the other one. So let's just go pull up the other one from before. So this was the first one, and now this is the second one. So, And this is about the theme of all the colors that goes along with it. So again, it's called Stay Golden. I'm going to swatch that one a little bit. Ooh. And that's that color right there. All right. So I am working with sunlight. So I hope that this comes out okay. I'm still learning everything. But I have learned if I set everything up with this in this direction with this window right in front of me, I don't have any light issues because the sunlight's out there. Let's use nature, what nature gave us. You know, let's use that stuff. So there's two colors in my palette now. This is so much fun. I hope you're having as much fun. If you're not, sorry. I'm having a good time. The next one on the block is called Lay Low. And it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more peachier, but more brown, I guess, than the first one we opened. So, because I am going to put them in order like she. Because that's the fun part about the Z palette. I'm going to swatch that a little bit. Is you can move things around, you know. So this is this last shade. That was the first one. So yeah, it's all around like coral kind of shades and that's cool. So I'm going to put it in my palette in the order, like, you know, darkness. I don't know. You can move things around. That's the fun. So this is the shade we just opened. That was the first one and that was the second one. Gosh, this is so exciting. I think I'm going to get hooked on this. And getting hooked on ColourPop is not that bad of a thing. Because it's super, super affordable. It's great quality, but super affordable. Can't complain. And the next one to come out of all these things is the last matte color. And it's called Top Notch. So it's more of a brown color, which is still fine. Still works. Oh man, that one's creamier than the other ones. Wow. And so there that last one is. So they're all... Fairly close, but they're all good crease colors, I would say. Let's put them in the right order. So here's what the palette looks like now. That's the color that we just looked at. That was the first one, that was the second one, and that was the third one. So. That's about it. The next one we have up is still a pressed powder. It's just a shimmer one, and it's called Thank You Next. So you can tell here it's still within the same kind of, you know, color range. I think they're all kind of the same when it comes to these, but. Ooh, you can tell, can you see the texture? There's texture to this. Um, let's select that one. Ooh, it's a nice coppery color right there. I'm gonna run out of arm space, but you know, this coppery color right there. Hmm. I'm impressed. And it's hard to impress me, by the way. Like. Being hard to impress is probably like my downfall. Makes me intimidating, apparently, to other people. Because I don't give a crap. You can be famous, you can be rich, you can be homeless. I don't care. If you're a good person, you're a good person. Um, but that's just me. You, know, you can do whatever you want with your life. The next one up is Misty. It's also a pressed powder, but also a shimmer. Again, still in the same color line. And it's still, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bit of like... So there is texture, but I am using my fingers, so, you know. Ooh. That one is just a little bit more on the red side of the copper. Or orange, more like orange side of the copper. So that's extremely pretty as well. As well. Like everything is just beautiful. My mind is just blown. <laughs> that's what she said. The next one that we are going to show before we get into the pressed glitters was just an extra thing that ColourPop gave me because they thought that they were taking too long to send out my order. So thank you very much ColourPop for that. But I'm very happy with the, the shipping time. I mean, I think it's been like two weeks since I placed this order or something like that. So in my mind, that's not that bad because I'm used to buying things from like AliExpress and Wish that take like two months. It is this color called Up and Up and it's a nice green color kind of like army green color but a little bit of a shimmer so let's do this one somewhere else there you go 
I, I don't know, I hope the color comes through, but it's not a really dark pigment, but it is really pretty in the green color, and I don't know where that one's going to go because the palette doesn't have room for that extra one. How I'm going to store this color is I'm just going to put it back in the little plastic that it came in, like so, and just put it in my drawer with all my single checks. We'll do that. Alright, it's time for like the glitter and shiny stuff, because I love shiny stuff. Um, they come in these nice little packages, so you can tell that they're glitter because it has a different package. Again, this is the pressed shadow, this is the glitter. I don't know if you can see through it, but some of them are kind of lifted up. That ain't a big deal, like you can just repress them in there. So let's open all of these and take a look at these. Oh, they're not that bad. They're, they're not as bad as I thought. I thought they were going to be crumbly everywhere. And, um, not that bad. Not that bad. Let's get into some glitter. Because I love glitter and highlight. See me from the freaking moon. I tried, like, taking the swatches off. But the super shock shadows, you can still kind of see where they were. That's okay. We all know that anything with a pink in it tends to stain. That's okay. I ain't mad at that. Um, so let's look at the first pressed glitter to get out. I got them out and let me tell you they aren't as fragile as they look. They look like they're gonna fall apart because this is what it looks like in the pan. It looks like it's just gonna fall out but it's not. It, it's not. Like, so far they aren't anyway. So this one is called Overpacked. <laughs> yeah they kind of are overpacked. So let's see if we can swatch this. So they are pressed glitter. Keep in mind they are pressed glitter. You're going to need glitter glue to get them to really stick. But oh wow, it's totally iridescent. So right now you are seeing the glitter part, but I don't know if you're going to see the color shift because you know sunlight don't do that. But yeah, um, it shifts from kind of like all the rainbow colors actually. But there's a lot of purple and then it has like a blue hue so yes that is pretty the next one up is indio indio it's still a pressed glitter still in the same kind of color scheme this one is more of a rose purple amethyst color so there you go yeah so that was the first one this is the second one i don't even know if you can tell the colors don't know if you can see the colors. It's a little bit of difference. It does not have iridescence to it. Oh, a little bit, but not much. Like the glitter flakes are iridescent, but the base of the color is not. Um, but yeah, it looks really pretty. Next one is called Renegade. So this is more, you know, I think you can actually pick up the duo chrome in there. Um, yeah, it's more of like a gold rose gold kind of a color so let's see what that one does oh it's a very pretty gold very very pretty gold see now the sun isn't that bad so you can see the difference in the color so there you go pick them up there you go that's a new one yes this one is called get lost which sometimes i say that to people and i have to apologize i apologize so many times i'm telling you some people deserve freaking crowns. But anyway, um, there's the color of it. It's kind of hard to see because it's more of a gold flake with bigger white iridescent glitter. So there's like two different sizes of glitter in there. And I'm excited. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh. So that one does have a color shift to it. It's right there. It's not as dark, but maybe if I put like another swipe on top. We're going to double dip in this one just so that you can see it. So there you go. You see the color shift in it? That is super freaking amazing. This is the one that I wanted the most of everything. I'm glad it was in this, you know, accidental, maybe, I don't know. It's called Hungry Ghost. So... It's very iridescent. There's duochromes in it. Ooh. 
I love this. So if you look at it, there is a white base with some gold flakes. And the other small flakes switch between a light rose gold orange to a blue. So, can you see that? Mm. There you go. So this one's really, really soft. Okay. Oh, but the reason why it was so soft and so easy for me to stick my fingers in compared to the other ones is because it's very, very creamy. See the color that comes off of? If I do this, you can kind of see the blue of it. And then you can see the gold. I cannot wait to put this on my eye. Now for the last one. It is called Island Hopping. It's very white, but glittery, and it, there's a little bit of some duochromeness to it, but it's not that ghost one is was super, super easy to move around. But this one's not that bad. All right. Oh, I need more. That's why I didn't show my finger in it. Now. So there it is. That's the new one. That one's Island Hopping. These are all of the glitters that came into the palette. So, all of these glitters go very well with those pretty coral, you know, brown, reddish, orange colors. Because this is what the entire palette looks like once I put them in. Yes. These are going to work. Awesome. Wow, I'm super happy with this. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have much of an eye look, I'm gonna play around a little bit and make an eye look with these. And I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. Hey guys, I'm back. And I was not prepared for the amount of glitter that was everywhere. There was glitter all over my face, all over me, all over my house. Like in a way, I'm not mad because again, I love glitter. And, and for anybody out there, like. If you're watching this with your significant other and your significant other really likes glitter, be prepared that once glitter enters your home, it will never leave. You will always find some. The only way to get rid of it is to burn your house down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just use a couple colors. And I'm, like, I'm in like the sunshine right now. I'm trying to show it off. So this one all over, you know, lid, kind of like a transition shade, crease color, and then I used this one. And then this one on like, the inner corner. And again, there's glitter everywhere, but I really like it. I really do. You can actually see the difference in the colors, at least up close you can. Um, I can't do much more than this because I can feel the glitter getting in my eyes. And that is um, not good. You have to be careful. But these glitters, I mean, they're, they're glitter. I think you can see them now. Maybe. Through my glasses. Take the glasses off. Maybe you can see them. There you go. <laughs> anyway. They actually look really great on their own. I don't have any glitter glue on them at all, and they're sticking to my face, but I don't think it'll last like a whole day. Um, you would probably need to put like a base color underneath of them, if you want. Or if you just want full glitter, like me, you don't have to. Because again, the, the color of them actually does show up. Like I can tell if I look close enough that there's a difference between the colors. But I'm super happy. No complaints. Will buy from ColourPop again. Cause look at this. It's cute. Let me just open it up. And these are all my colors. You know, these are what I ended up picking. I don't know if these are the colors I picked or this is the actual palette. But it it could be something I picked. I, I don't know. Either way, no complaints. Super freaking happy with my two um super shock colors. No complaints again. I will leave below the link if you want to go look at ColourPop. Sometimes they have a lot of sales. And even without sales, they're super affordable. And I'm trying to stay out of the sun so you can see me more. But yes, they do have like a new palette probably like every week or so. Which just means that there's something for everyone. No matter what you're looking for, you will probably find it with ColourPop. Very affordable, very good. All of this stuff came to about $57 Canadian. It's pretty good. I'll also leave the link to my friend's Instagram below, the person who inspired me to get ColourPog. She again does a lot of reviews, she talks about a lot of makeup, she just doesn't have a YouTube channel. 
she just does it with her Instagram stories. So I think that's great. It's her thing, you know, you do you. With all that, I thanks everybody for tuning in. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. If you don't want to, it's okay, I'm cool. Having a good time, having some fun. But I do have to go wash this off to make sure the glitter doesn't stay in my eyes because I have eye problems, but even anybody in general. Glitter, you have to be careful when you put it around your eyes so it doesn't go into your eye. And if you ever do use glitter on your eyelids, you know, it's okay. When you do wash your makeup off, just make sure that you clean your eyes really good with, you know, like some kind of like eye drops or whatever to make sure that you get all the glitter out so it doesn't get stuck. Sometimes it gets stuck between your eyelid and your eyeball and you can get like an infection or something like that. So just be careful, but I'm super happy with glitter, so I'm happy. I hope y'all are happy. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Yeah, I'm not perfect at this. I'm still learning how to swatch. I'm still learning how to do everything. Because I'm just having fun. Just having fun. I hope you guys liked it. Again, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, it's your thing. Love y'all. Thanks. Have a good rest of the week.